Sounds pretty wild out there still. <laughs> you weren't kidding. Dublin goes hard for St. Patrick's Day. Mm. God, I'm so glad I convinced you to come back to your place to rest for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Start off the day with an Irish coffee, pints of Guinness with lunch, and you've been talking about going to a whiskey bar after dinner all day. I think you're showing off for me a little bit. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's been so long since we've seen each other. College feels like it was so long ago, but I guess it wasn't. I've been saying forever I'm going to come visit you in Dublin. Only took six years for me to actually make it happen. <sighs> Damn, I'm really feeling that jet lag now. I know it's almost evening, but it feels like it's the middle of the night. I need a reset or something. Flying for more than a few hours always makes me so tense. Hmm. I wonder if... Oh, yes. Thank God. I always say I'm going to pack this travel vibrator and always forget. Not this time. I haven't heard anything from your bedroom, so I'm assuming you're still asleep. This isn't weird, is it? Masturbating on your couch? Well, I guess it's fine, as long as you don't catch me doing it. Whatever, I'll be quick. And this thing is super quiet. I slip my hand up my shirt and drag my fingertips over my nipple. My bra is on the floor somewhere, wherever I tossed it when I laid down earlier. <sighs> Shit, my nipples are sensitive today. Oh, what if I put the vibrator on them? drag the tip of the vibrator slowly down my chest, over my abdomen, down between my legs again. This was supposed to be quick and dirty, but damn, I can't help myself. <sighs> Oh, my God. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> it's okay. I'll just turn around. Give you a couple of moments. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I can't believe you just walked in on me playing with myself. My cheeks burn a little as I grab the blanket on the other end of the couch and pull it over my lap. I don't know why I'm even trying to cover myself up. The damage has already been done. Um, <laughs> hi. Sorry, that was not something you were supposed to see. <laughs> uh, well, looks like you were having fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Listen, you don't have to be embarrassed. Everybody does it. And, yeah, it was pretty hot. A rush of heat suddenly travels down my body. For the first time since you walked in, I look up into your eyes. Your jaw is set 
and you're looking down at me with a look I've never seen before. Like you're thinking very hard about something. Like you're craving something you can't have. <sighs> oh, I'm still really turned on and my brain is running wild. I imagine for half a second you watching me while I touch myself. Maybe you were watching me. Fuck, that would be hot. I mean, we've always just been friends, but... I've considered it before. Admired your body on more than one occasion. <clears throat> um... Uh, you can keep going if you want to. Though, though I'm happy to give you some privacy. I'm not entirely sure what's happening right now. But the way you're talking... I feel like there's a question in the air. Like we're both feeling each other out. Maybe it's because I'm already so turned on, but I can't stop thinking about you watching me. You should stay. Yeah? Yeah, I... Um... I want you to stay and watch me. You move slowly from the hall to the couch and sit down on the opposite end. All of your typical playfulness and humor is gone from your face. In its place is an attentive gaze, watching me, waiting for my next move. So, uh, you always travel with a vibrator? <laughs> a girl's got needs. <laughs> I won't lie, it's a little odd showing you this side of myself. But clearly that means I feel something for you. Something more than just a deep friendship. So, uh, what if... What if I tell you how to touch yourself? Would you like that? Mm-hmm. And do you mind if I, uh, touch myself too? Be my guest. Okay. Uh, pull the blanket down. I settle back against the arm of the couch and slowly pull the blanket down. I pull my pants back down my hips and let them hover around my knees. I'm just wearing my shirt and my underwear now. You've seen me in a bathing suit before, which is basically the same thing, but... Yeah, this feels different. Good, different. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing, or use your fingers. Thanks for listening to this Bloom Intimate audio story. We're sorry we had to cut this short, but this story is too hot for most platforms. To listen to the full story, head on over to bloomstories.com and create your account today. As a free user, you can listen to a selection of full-length free stories every month. And if you upgrade to premium, you instantly unlock hundreds of stories and guides. What are you waiting for? Go sign up now.